within the Bene Kingdom and also outside of the Bene Kingdom. Instead, all the troops and the formations and units of the armed forces that are engaged in various operations to bring security of life. forces of Nigeria and other security agencies are involved in efforts to ensuring the lives and property and everyone inhabiting our space are secure as well as the assets, the various installations which, of course, is the mainstay of our economy. These troops have been so focused, and I thought it was necessary to go to commend them and to bring the warm greetings from Mr. President to them and the commendation of Mr. President for them to do more to ensure that all forms of threats or criminalities within their areas of responsibility are holistically addressed. And so also, given that issues of security, defense and security for that matter, remains everybody's responsibility. I felt that it was also necessary to reach out to the governor and to, to the good people of Edo State to thank them for the support they've given to members of the armed forces and to equally crave for more. Above all, I've come to you, Your Majesty, because we know that the rare blessings that you offer have been quite responsible amongst others why we have been able to undertake the feat that we have conducted thus far. In that light, Your Royal Majesty, I have come to appreciate you on behalf of the members of the armed forces, but in particular, members of the armed forces that are within your kingdom, to thank you for the various support and your prayers and your real blessings upon them that has enabled them to conduct their affairs and pray your majesty to continue to pray for us and to give all the support along with those of your subjects to our troops so that together we will live in a secured environment and everyone will live up to the desires that he has so wished for himself or herself. This is the reason why I'm here, Your Royal Majesty. Thank you so very much. And other very distinguished high ranking military officers of this very great country and gentlemen. Please let all of us be very, very attentive. Very distinguished uh, members, members of your entourage. I thank you for the minute fee to come here today. Um, we also thank you for all the work you've been doing. But however, let me first of all congratulate you since this is the first time you are coming here after your appointment in 2021. Uh, we all congratulate you on this appointment and uh, uh, we pray for your success. Pray that. Uh, Lord God Almighty and our ancestors will keep you out of harm's way. 
Um, we we have been following a lot of your successes. You know, as I, as I sometimes say to those close to us, that we in Benin, the Oba of Benin, are descendants of warrior kings. Mm -hmm. When I see you know, when I see officers in uniforms like this, military uniforms like this, it sometimes takes us back to the warrior days. The warrior days of old in the Benin Empire, as we conquered and expanded the, the empire to as far as uh, Dahomey and the other side to uh, beyond, the, beyond the Niger River. Uh, we thank God Almighty. We thank our great ancestors that uh, we are still sitting here today. These days, we are still warriors of our, we are still descendants of our warrior kings and perhaps fighting a different battle, a different kind of battle fighting the uh, battle of uh, social vices, uh, unacceptable crime, uh, because even from biblical days, there seems to, to have always been crime of some sort, but perhaps very, very minimal, not as, as we see it today. Uh, I admire the men of the armed forces a lot particularly the army, boots on ground, protecting everybody with their lives, when they themselves have family, wives and children at home waiting for them. We must all join together to always pray for our army, our Air Force and the Navy because they are constantly at the forefront of the battle. Um, we are aware of uh, your successes, perhaps not in detail, but what we know of how you have been uh, success, succeeding in, um, in controlling the, the, uh, the situation in the Northeast, despite its challenges, Boko Haram, and they keep on, we, we always just wonder how Boko Haram is still existing with all the force that you have been exerting. You have been exerting on them, all the efforts you have been putting out. Uh, and then we hear that they are, they are sponsors. Like, some people are profiting from the, profiting from the terrorism as it is all over the world. There will always be miscreants, and we have the army to always be battling these people all the time. That's why we must uh, pray. We must pray for your successes. We must pray for, for you to be kept out of harm's way, even if you have signed it to be in harm's way. But still, as they say, there is no, there is no hero as a dead hero. There is no dead hero that is a hero or something like that. So it will, be, it will be good, you save your time, you retire alive and successfully and uh, be back with your family uh, for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. My dear CDS, we are also, we are also very grateful how, how the matter of uh, was it the Anambra election and that was, was successfully controlled. And so many other areas we cannot recount now in this occasion. So for all that we know and all that we don't know, we thank God Almighty, we thank our great ancestors for the army and all the other arms of the military in controlling and keeping Nigeria one. Your loyalty 
the loan penalty is uh, unprecedented, is unsurpassed, and I continue to encourage the military to be pleased, loyal to the democratic institutions, protect it as much as possible, uh, be loyal to your president and commander-in-chief at all times. So uh, I want to thank you for your commendations. You know, uh, in those days when, um, even in the biblical days, when any nation or any empire who want to go to a war, they will summon the assistance of uh, summon the assistance of the um, either the bishop or the the, the equivalent of uh, archbishop in those days to to pray for them, and they they were also used to get involved in all manner of spiritual things to protect. You know, to protect the um, the uh, the army going to war to come back successfully and so on and so forth. The reason being that even as far back as then, there has always been recognition. There has always been recognition of uh, the powers of the spiritual world, the spiritual force, which nobody can see. But you can you can feel or see the end result of it. There is no doubt that man from time immemorial has always had something they believe in. Uh, in the Muslim religion, you have what you know. In the Christian religion. You know what they profess to believe in. In the African traditional religion, which I'm an exponent of, advocate of, we also have our belief strongly in both what the Muslims believe, what the Christians believe, in addition to our own. So we will call upon, we will always try to call upon, endeavor to call upon the spirits of our ancestors, what we believe in, to keep on blessing you and protecting you. Uh, for you to have success in your tenure, because uh, it's not an easy thing wearing this uniform. I'll tell you, when I was much, much younger, man, I wanted to wear this uniform, you know. You won't believe it, believe it or not. The reason I was, uh, I was prompted at that time was because of the Civil War. Because of the Civil War. At that time, when, um, when we heard about the our brethren in the east that they have invaded Benin on the, on the, on the march to Lagos. They, they, while they were in Benin, they, they dared to enter this palace. They dared to tamper with my grandfather and all the Midwesterners at that time. They were Midwesterners that uh, they were going to enlist uh, in the army to fight the battle to repel the aggressors, so, so to speak, as they said at that time. Uh, I was much younger with a teenager, and I said, my grandfather, who tampered with my grandfather, my phys physical uh, tamping, uh, and it was in Zahapun. I, 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 then, I then went to my father, I said, I want, I uh, heard you are enlisting in a papa. In a papa, I also want to go and enlist, to go and protect my land. I also want to enlist in the army to protect my grandfather, to fight for my grandfather. That who would dare talk about my grandfather at that time, and so on and so forth. But of course, <laughs> that was not to happen because they were very, very. Good.
grown up adults, able bodied men, and even 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 uh, outside of that, our robe was already carved out for us to fight battles in future, which we are not doing by the grace of God. Uh, we should we shall all by the grace of God have peace and tranquility in the kingdom. Yeah. No matter where the aggression is coming from, wherever it's coming from, whoever is trying to perpetrate aggression on this institute, on this traditional institution, or perpetrate aggression on the kingdom, on the land, for wherever it may be. We are also going to be silent, generous, or silent in a way, uh, using our spiritual power that the God, God Almighty and our ancestors have bestowed on us to use to protect the land, protect our people, keep our people safe. We'll be doing that in our own way to support the army. So I thank you very much, CDS. I, I also want to I also want to use this opportunity to thank you very much for receiving the people that I sent to you in Abuja very very at very short notice. I think some of them are even in the crowd right now. Uh, I know I know I know that uh, they are I know they have appealed to me. I'm sure you all, you, all, you, all, you also agree that for me to send them to come and see you, I must have uh, some confidence, measure of good confidence in them and belief in them that they can deliver. And I hope they will not fail to ensure that they are on the right track. I I, I injected my younger brother into the system, into the whole thing, to make sure. He, he monitors what they are doing, that they are on the right track. So I, I know that uh, the um, different uh, arms of uh, the military, they are all present here. The Air Force, I believe the Navy, the Navy is here. The Navy is here, I believe. The Navy. Uh, so we shall, be, we shall be coming to each arm to see what, what we can provide in, in terms of uh, your needs, services and all that, whatever we can do to support. So please, uh, the Chief of uh, Defense Staff, I'm sure will be, will be doing his own, his own quota to support as the head, as the Chief is concerned, to promote the, the protection, the military protection of this country by ensuring what they can deliver they will deliver to support you. So I thank you very much, um, Chief of Defense Staff. I don't want to say any more than this because there are a few other things that I want to be. I want to keep privately for your ears only. So I thank you very much. God bless you all.
Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.